Hello everyone, very good morning. My name is Satish Kumar and I work for Mindful Solutions as a senior software engineer. Um, basically, this screencast will cover up uh, how to use ORM designer effectively in order to generate your ORM entities. Um, maybe either in Doctrine or Propel with high-end frameworks like uh, Symfony or Zen. So, uh, why do we need to have a tool to generate your ORM entities uh, if you can do it by your own? but the problem in generating ORM entities is that when you start writing your annotation classes or YAML format classes uh, the more emphasis or the importance is given to the syntax or the uh, so-called association between your uh, entities rather than you know concentrating more on modeling so why should we spend too much time on concentrating on how we write the files rather than you know what we are actually writing up so I would prefer to give more focus on modeling, modeling your entities rather than writing everything on a file and then generating your entities. Uh, so this screencast will cover up how to start a new project and you know have a set of entities with a different set of association levels on a symphony project with ORM, Dr. ORM as a uh, ORM framework. So before proceeding on with the screencast demo I would I assume that you already have a symphony stack instance and ORM framework being doctrine ORM being installed in your working directory and what you see on the screen is the basic layout of your ORM designer I'm going to start a new project I name it as demo doctrine and I use Symphony 2 as the MVC framework and I choose Doctrine 2 as my or so the moment I create a new project it is showing on the uh, you know, screen with main module as the module editor module and I have sample entity in place so I rename the main module as my default module which is the preferred name for naming convention for propel or doctrine and I rename sample entity as company uh, before proceeding on with the complete demo I, I would like to just give a brief of what we are trying to achieve on this demo uh, we assume that there will be three entities uh, one is going to be company the other one is going to be project and the third one will be the developer so the association between these three entities in goes in such a way that you know a company can have n number of projects but a project can be mapped up to only one company and similarly a company can have n developers but a developer can be mapped up to only one company so the sort of association between company to projects or company to developers is a kind of one to many relationship whereas uh, on the other way around if you see the association between projects and developers a project can have n developers at the same time a developer can work on more than one project so this is going to be kind of many to many relationship uh, so to have the entities I s start double clicking on the company entity and I add two to three more fields to show different data types um, I go for register date as a date parameter and it is going to be not null and I'll have one more field which shows a boolean value to check whether the company is actually active in the system or not so that will be a boolean field uh, with not null and default as one so we have a company entity uh, you know within matter of seconds and similarly we can have a projects entity with a primary key here the pk denotes primary key a denotes auto increment n and denotes not null uq denotes unique i add one more field called name which type is string size is 255 and a description field just to show that uh, how your not null fields will work and this description is going to be a text field and it can be null so 
I'm not taking out the not null parameter so we created a project entity as well and I'm going to create a developer entity so we have two fields ID which is going to be the primary key and name so now we have three entities in place uh, so let's see how to map up between company and project and company and developer to have one to many relationship going on in order to have this I'm double clicking on the project entity and moving on to associations tab and I click on add association here it shows owner entity as project um, the owner entity is a term where you will see the foreign key of any inversing entity um, to keep it simple uh, the company ID which will be the foreign key in project entity will be residing in the project entity so since the one since the entity is holding the foreign key we call it as owner entity and uh, the actual int actual entity for the foreign key will be called as inverse entity so the company ID will be the foreign key for project and the inverse entity is company and we can go by warm designers allies mode and I want this to be bi-directional when I say bi-directional it means that uh, the company or project can be invoked in both the ways for example I can see what all the projects running in a company at the same time you know by triggering a project entity I can also see to which company it belongs to so that is how we call it as you know bi-directional or a two-way association and I always want parent to be required to make sure the parent ID or the foreign key is not null one so clicking on ok uh, now we are able to see the association between project and the company similarly we can have for developer now we have two one to many relationship between company and project and company and developer uh, so this is going to be very much simple but now moving on to the complex part of having many to many relationship between project and developer all I need to do is I need to click on many to many tab and click on developer entity so this shows the owner entity as developer and inverse entity as project and I'm going to to have a mapping table between inverse and the owner entity for many to many relationship I go by the list of options provided by ORM designer and I pick project to developer as the mini to mini entity now that's it you know a mini to mini mapping table is then automatically so this is something similar to your e normal year diagram where you can pick up the fields and say okay uh, how this is the way you know my table is going to relate to the next table so you know it's very much similar to your normal mysql query browser or anything now the most important part is how we are going to generate the entity classes on a specific frame format you know maybe it may be annotations it may be uh, yaml format or it may be an uh, xml format so in order to do so you just need to click on the module which will open a module editor and go to files and export give your you know prescribed or you know preferred format I prefer it doctrine to annotations and I can enter the path where this generated entities will reside on so I choose entity as the export path and I click on OK so once again I'm saving the project since we saved it you know I'm just going to click on export to ORM button to export the entities 
now we choose export completed and the status of the exported files will reside on the path where we gave before so by closing it down I'm just going to cross check where it's residing in my system Here you can see a PHP file called company developer and project. So and this will automatically have all your field properties and all you need to do is you need to take these files and place it in the entity class inside a bundle or a module depending upon the framework you are choosing and just execute the console commands to generate the getter or setter methods and that's it you know you have all your entities in place so as you can see you know we generated almost around three entities in a matter of you know 10 minutes time similarly you know it will take it will not take more than a day's time even if you're going to design more than 100 entities in place so here you can see there is a class project and all the field specifications what we gave is being listed out here so this is how you can generate as many number of entities you want uh, you know depending upon the type of format you know I can even uh, go for YAML or XML format to do so all you need to do is go to the module path click on the module editor and in the files and export I choose YAML and give the same export path I do export to or it's all done in YML format so you can see company.dcm.yml developer.dcm.yml and project.dcm.yml formats so it's fairly simple to generate entities in any any prescribed format within matter of seconds instead of rewriting each and everything from scratch and that's how you know uh, Overarm designer helps you a lot in designing your entities in quick succession and you know, generates more productivity. I believe this will be a very useful session for you all and thanks for your time. Have a good day. Bye bye.